Kajimiko Tiger is a nine-year-old who loves video games, baseball, animals, and Pokemon. He's good at math and science. He also enjoys learning the native Cherokee language. Kauchi is a member of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, which is a federally recognized Indian tribe based in remote western North Carolina. Now I would like I have the great honor of bringing forward Kauchi Tiger. Last year, Kauchi was selected to light the Capitol Christmas tree because he won an essay contest on telling the legend of his tribe. Kauchi, the stage is yours. Kauchi spoke Cherokee language to kick off his speech. The language that Kauchi speaks hasn't been taught at school for at least three generations, even in his own community. There are 9,600 people that live here in the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. Less than 200 speak fluent Cherokee language. The tribe is working hard to save the language. Kauchi began learning the Cherokee language at home when he was a toddler. His dad is a Cherokee language instructor at Cherokee Central School. He feels it is important to teach his family the Cherokee language. And so I feel we have a duty to, to teach our youth and to carry on as much as you know, and even if you only know a little bit, I feel you have a responsibility to share that with your family and friends, and it's kind of hard to imagine being Cherokee and not having our language. Kauchi's parents didn't grow up using the Cherokee language. Because I grew up in Tennessee, um, outside of Nashville, Tennessee, and so I grew up predominantly in a non, non-tribal, non-Cherokee community. We've always had family that's lived here in Cherokee, um, but once I, when I was young and as I got older, I always knew I wanted to come back and live here around my family. I, I don't really know, it's just something I guess inside of me that always kind of pulled me, pulled me here. As I got older, I learned that I wanted to uh, learn a more uh, language and just be able to understand uh, the language and, and speak it. And then of course, once I started having kids, I definitely wanted them to grow up with that uh, where I didn't have it growing up, that it's something that I wanted for them that I wasn't able to have for myself. Kauchi and his younger brother attend the New Kadua Academy for school. It provides students an immersion program to learn Cherokee language. Students study most subjects in Cherokee language rather than English. Teachers and staff speak Cherokee language as much as they can in and out of the classroom. Because I have the class pretty much all day except for maybe about an hour and a half. During that time, you know, it's just using it as much as I can. Of course, you know, always try to make it fun because they're already little kids during their, like, their free time or outside time because I'm still watching them, so I still want to like hear them speak it. So I want them to say, oh, you know, one, two, three, go. I'm like, uh-uh, doha dish go. And like, show go tall zo, Helena. That's one, two, three, go. You know, try to make it fun, try to make it engaging with them. Oh, stop. Landon French doesn't just teach students at school. His mother and daughter are also his pupils. Hey, hey. Snails. Ew, stop, stop. My grandparents were the last fluent speakers in my family. They were part of the boarding school era, and then, of course, my dad was sent off to public school instead of to the tribal school at the time. And so he didn't grow up learning the language either. He would just hear words, but my grandparents never sat down or uh, spoke the language in the home with him. So I didn't grow up with the language. New Kadua Academy also has a Cherokee language program for adults. Dawn Arnish started her Cherokee language learning there. At first, Arnish took her son to the Cherokee language class. After several years, her son became a Cherokee language teacher, and Arnish is now his student. Arnish studies the language together with her granddaughter. That was the other reason I wanted to start taking more classes, is being able to talk to her more in the language and not just in English. 
New Cadua Academy has sufficient funding for the children and adults' language programs, according to Kylie Schuler, the manager of the New Cadua Preservation Education Program. Most of their grants come from Cherokee Preservation Foundation, which is funded through gaming. However, money cannot buy Cherokee language speakers. They are like non-renewable resources to the tribe. Cherokee language teachers are in urgent need. The New Cadu Academy even pays adults to learn the Cherokee language full time for two years. In return, these adult students commit to teaching at school after completing the program. While teaching the Cherokee language, the teachers have to create textbooks and curriculum. I think what we're lacking with the resources is a standardized uh, textbook. We're working on it, but currently it's you know up to the teacher's discretion of what they want or what they feel the students need to be able to do by the time they're out of the classroom. With the help of linguists, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians are working on producing more language materials for school. The state has certain curricular objectives. What I do is looking at the uh, state standards for foreign language study or second language study, making sure that we meet those guidelines. And a lot of that involves working to redevelop those materials. So we get them all in English, but we have to put them into Cherokee language. Producing language materials only for school is insufficient for revitalizing the Cherokee language. Immersion education means the language is everywhere. Outside of the immersion school, I think it would be helpful to have more cartoons, more movies, even like the billboards, advertisements and everything in Cherokee. So it shows the kids that it's not just a school thing. Even though the Cherokee language is at risk, People in the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians are working together to save it. They say they are feeling hopeful the language will continue on with future generations. And we are recording and documenting the language and studying the language and studying how to teach the language to all these different age groups. And so I'm very optimistic that we're all going to be speaking Cherokee very soon. Though still young, Kauchi and his younger brother also feel the responsibility of passing down their ancestors' language. But they said they wanted to be a speaker one day, and I, I told them, I said, you guys are already speakers, you're learning. I think it's, in, in, it's been instilled in them, but it's something that we have to continue to, to reinforce the rest of their lives. I'm Ping Ping Yin, together with Lin Liu in the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians for Medill News Service.